Hey guys, today I am going to have a very honest discussion and no game store. If you own a game store, you should not carry Magic the Gathering right now. Uh, right now, as this exact moment in time, Amazon has another sale and it's just kind of random day. It's like uh, Friday, it's Friday like 17th, I think, or the 16th, whatever that Friday is before it's Christmas. It's a Friday before a week before Christmas time. And it's a random sale. They have Dominaria United collector's boxes at 150. They have Strixhaven, both set and draft. I think draft is the cheaper one at 80. And they have the new Compenna at 72. Now that one actually limits you to free. Dominaria United collector's edition does not limit you. And they have Crimson Vow at like 100 a box, collector's edition. Uh, they have some other random commander decks always on sale and you know i think new compenna is very very intriguing for that price point i probably will buy three of them that is i'm paying 90 dollars for my distributor for new compenna today for uh, draft and it's on amazon for 72 dollars um that is a whopping 18 dollar difference now you might be oh it's only 18 dollars, but like you wouldn't pay 18 dollars for your game store right if I were to charge my new Compenna draft for $108, which is what Rudy is charging $109 for set, um, you wouldn't buy that. So that $18 margin on top of the margin I'm trying to make isn't even uh, like that. That margin is even higher than the margin I'm trying to make. That's how ludicrous this is right now. And, and Magic wants you to have, again, Magic is very different from Pokemon. I've said this a million times and I just want you to know there is a higher cost of operating if you want to appeal to Magic players. In fact, there was a, a person on the Magic Houston forum and they were complaining about, you know, hey, FNM costing $5 for a promo. This guy was raging about it and saying, oh, they shouldn't charge any money. I should be able to play for free. And in the comment sections, a lot of people disagreed with him. A lot of people agreed with him. So this conversation that we're having about who Magic players are is they are very frugal. They expect to get everything for free and they cost a lot more to operate a business to appeal to a Magic player than for uh, uh, Pokemon. Pokemon, for instance, it's typically families, maybe little kids, they open packs, they get the cards, you know, you may trade with them or the singles to make them feel like very good. So then they come back again. It's a very warm or it's a very, you know, positive relationship that I have with my Pokemon customers, as opposed to my magic customers in the past, they've just poop everywhere. Like I wish this was not true, but this is true. They, they have belt buckle issues. A lot of them smell. I mean, and then they sit there for hours not buying anything, just like this one guy. I, I want you, in fact, I'm, I, I typically never do this. I almost never effing do this because I'm lazy when I make these videos. I will go and I'll read you the comments. What I'm talking about is this one magic player in the Houston community, right? Say, and then he's like, oh, well, there's four other game stores I can visit. And this is exactly their mentality. They want you to go bankrupt. I've never seen this mindset in a Pokemon player before, right? And Pokemon player, they want a safe, a nice place, a clean place to play and open cards and then leave. I've never seen the mentality that you as a game store owner owe this person, you know, you, you, you feel like grateful for this person to sit and to poo around, you know, your store. Um, and they won't even spend $5 for F of them because they can get the promo cheaper online. I mean, and then, and then you call them out. Oh, well, I, there's four other stores that will appreciate my business. Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, no, they don't. They tolerate it, but they don't appreciate it. Trust me. So the reason that, and I, you know, again, I got to get my phone because I got to read you these actual real things. This, these, this is a real life thing. Um, it's not me making this up. It's, it's actually happening in real time where Magic players, due to the recession, I guess they're looking to save $5. You know, they can spend eight hours playing at your place, but they won't give you $5 for it. And they're like, oh, well, I bought $5 of, you know, sleeves. Well, the sleeves, the profit margin is not $5, right? 
Uh, you have to read this thing. It's it's basically all my fears as a Magic the Gathering store owner all combined into one. And he's local. Like this is not like oh this guy lives in Vermont, <laughs> you know, and in Vermont they're just more, you know, socially aware I guess, uh, or maybe less. Um, this guy lives locally and he could visit my store one day. <laughs> you know, I mean he lives close enough. I mean apparently he's visiting four to five different stores at one time. So I mean, yeah. Uh, but the entitlement, the whiny baby noises, and uh, it's just how can we? Okay, Amazon number one, problem one, Amazon. They're dumping everything all the time, all the effing time. They're dumping boxes. Right now, it's I. I told my distributor, no more magic. I'm gonna. I literally told him. I have a text to him saying, hey, I I find these prices cheaper on Amazon. <laughs> I would still buy Pokemon because Pokemon is always cheaper with him. But I'm not going to buy no more magic. I bought Brighter's War. I'm very regretful. I'm very regretful that I bought uh, magic cards. I, I, I regret it every single day. All, all the cards, even from my distributor and distributor costs, I've lost a lot of money on. And uh, yeah, it sucks because if I want like a booster pack opening high, I just buy a box from Amazon 72. That's $2 a pack. And I get the free promo card, right? <laughs> anyway, bye guys.